What's up guys? Uh, we're heading to go set up at the Retro SoCal Swami. Um, we just got a uh, heads up that we can set up tonight at 7 p.m. So we're heading there now, it's a 30 minute drive. Um, and I wanna help my wife out to set up because she will be setting at SoCal, I'll be staying at Robo Toy Fest. And yes, we are rocking our new uh, Secret Game Stash shirts. Um, I just put it on today just so I can uh, loosen it up because they're a little tight. But we have all the stuff in the back. Um, David's gonna be helping out Cecilia uh, tomorrow, so I'm happy about that. And I'll be at Robo Toy Fest. I'm not sure who's gonna watch my booth when I, I gotta go to the bathroom. Uh, so I'm not not try to drink too much liquid tomorrow. So I gotta be careful with that. Uh, but we'll see you guys in a few minutes, or we're gonna go we're gonna go set up. All right, guys. So we're all set up. Um, so it's gonna be my wife. David's gonna join for a while. He's gonna head to work later I'm guessing I think that's what he told me so we're all set up I helped out my wife set up everything's ready to roll and yeah yes we're set so I priced stuff at good prices um, some stuff I put at uh, close to retail uh, but just like on some of the you know hot seller stuff on the other stuff I can get rid of I don't mind I got the turbo graphics here um, usually I get two big tables. There's times where I'll get three. It depends. But my wife just wanted to handle it by herself. But I don't think she's going to get the morning rush because they're going to come in through here. And then when they go in, they're going to go all the way in that way. And then they're going to go out that way. So um, pretty cool. And then Tony's over there. He's all setting up. Um, but it's just us two. That's kind of cool. And there you guys go. So, of course, we have our dollar bin, which I'm excited for about because a lot of people want to dig through, which I'm happy about. And then all the consoles are right here, which I'm going to get like a little thing for it, which I'm excited about. Um, we'll go do that tonight. We'll go buy that little like shelf for my wife. And she'll have it on the corner here. And then we'll have a dollar bin right here for people to dig through. And there you guys go. So I'm excited. Hopefully she does really well. Um, yeah, there you guys go. And then there's all the, the good comments. So there you guys go, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm super stoked and super excited for her. I hope she does really well. And we'll find out at the end of the day. What's up, guys? So we're all set up and ready to go. I've been getting a lot of attention, you know. But this is a expensive hobby. You know, people are like, damn, those prices are, you know, crazy. But, you know, they're reasonable price. They're good prices. Um... I have already have collectors coming today to buy some stuff off me, so let's see how that goes. But you know, it's an expensive hobby, guys. There's me and the Robo for display today, and um, yeah. I thought I'd share this with you guys firsthand before uh, we open up in about 40 minutes. I'll show you guys the bigger view. Um, let's go. Look, I'm gonna go look around really quick, and then I'm gonna go get some food. Um, before that, okay, so I'll see you guys in a few minutes and like I said, thanks for watching guys. We're all set up Hopefully we make at least 5k or more. We'll see how it goes. I'll see you guys in a few minutes Alright guys, I don't even know where to start. There's so much good stuff Mostly modern, uh, which is great But we got Voltron, we got like so many robots like brand new robots, box robots Transformers, we got the Vol uh, Voltron EX Insane. We got Beast Wars. Sick. We got that Jumbo Godzilla. We got some horror figures. A little bit of everything. No joke. Um, I'll go that way in a bit. But let's go look around actually. The thing is, you do get first access, which is great. Um, my booth is in that corner, but I'm glad there's nobody on that side right now because I'm not there buying and selling. So, like I said, not that many showguns, but a lot of cool stuff for sure. 
two of those big guys up there. We got a Damio oh, I mean, like, missing right. a fist too. That's why I thought the view. I'm like, that's a shit you can buy. Yeah, I guarantee you. Yeah. Walmart stuff. And of course, Shia yeah, Joe, modern stuff, which is cool. Um, Cause I don't even know where to start. Got that old school vintage Godzilla in there. Got loose toys, a little bit of everything. I wish I could dig through this stuff. But just getting you guys footage of everything. This is a really cool booth here with all the Power Rangers. Freaking sick. He's assembling them, which is awesome. This is probably one of the only booths that has like really cool vintage. Check out that Ultraman, guys. Freaking insane. And we got this Popey vintage one, and then he has a whole bunch of vintage ones in here, too. We got some Shogun vehicles. We have some, even some old, uh, I think that's a like Carmen Rider there. What are you asking on the old uh, Carmen Rider uh, figure? Oh, somebody over here. Oh, what are you asking on the vintage uh, Carmen Rider figure? With the mask on? Yeah. Does he have the mask? No, no mask. No mask. So this one probably like 40 bucks. 40 bucks? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw a whole bunch of cool vintage ones. What are you asking on the vehicles, on the Shoguns? 40. 40. Not broken. So. Yeah. Wow, that's sick. You got Rodan. Wow. What are you asking on this guy? 40. 42. See, that's it cool. Works, it just doesn't have the uh, the battery cover. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I have the complete ones. Yeah. In the box right there. Oh no way. Oh yeah, you do. Let me just my booth. Okay. Whoa! Check those out. We got the uh, ground Voltron. It's just this one though, but pretty cool. You don't rarely ever see these. Check this out. No way. That's sick. Check out that Popey, guys. That's a steal price, too. 200 bucks for that in the box. All right, I'll be back. We got somebody at the booth. Oh, man, this guy has killer stuff. All right. What's up, guys? So we're all set up, ready to roll. Um, I'm going to Starbucks. There's a little line there. Not too shabby. That's an early bird, people. Um... I don't know if you guys can see me. I'll get it off this area. Yeah? All right, so I got to meet some of the heavy hitter vendors. They said they have never seen a booth like mine. Uh, it makes me feel really good, but I told them that's my collection. So it's not like I went and found all this stuff and hoarded it. No, this took honestly two years, I think it was. <laughs> so give me one second. All right, guys, what's up? So this is what I just scored from one of the vendors. Um, got them for close to like 22 each, I want to say. So we got the Gamera figures. Now I just sold the other ones for 100, I think it was like 100 bucks. So these are rare. The rarest one, I'll show you which one, the hardest ones to get, which he had. It's this guy right here, Gilly, Gillian. This is the toughest one to get. And of course, Gamera is the hardest one. No, no, he's more common, but everybody's always looking for the main characters, but these are the I think this is a second. Let me double check. So this one's the hardest one to get out of the set. I think that's what I think it was. But anyways, it was an awesome find. He paid 90 bucks for the set, which I thought was great. So, um, yeah, I thought it was cool to share this with you guys. I did have the other two, but I sold the other two, so that's funny, you know? But I thought I'd share that with you guys. Awesome little find. All right, I gotta check out this guy's booth. He's got a lot of Robotech. Some of the really nice ones too, boxed. So keep an eye out for this guy. He has some cool stuff. He's even got the little SDF one, small die cast version. Shit, this guy's sick. Got some cool stuff, guys. It's probably the meanest show I've seen by far. 
this year, so it's insane. Uh, so there's a lot of new modern stuff, but overall, like, yeah. All right, so. Where, I don't even know where to start. This is Wilt's booth. That's her daughter. Say hello. <laughs> uh, he's brought a lot of comics. We got some little nice pieces. Zelda figures. A little bit of collectibles. A little bit of everything. So that's kind of cool. Uh, this is one of the biggest vendors. I'm sure you'll be at PowerCon. Um, but yeah, so far I got some good deals, guys. I'm looking for good price stuff so that I can take to my store or stuff like that. We got Power Rangers here. Check that out. Hey, how's it going? A little bit of everything there. Then we got some. Oh, shit. Look at that Kong Skull Island, baby. That shit's dope. Nice. We got the shirt guys, nice. We got some Dragon Ball Z, we got a little bit of everything there. Yeah, buddy. We got a lot of loose figures too. A lot of Transformers, a lot of uh, G1s. Oh shit, check that out guys, fuck. It's the new Megatron, boy. I think he's gonna be here today, his voice. I don't know where he's at, but keep an eye out for sure. So, it's a lot of cool stuff. Oh, we got some of the Resident Evil figures. Check that one out, dope. Got a Game Boy for 40, nice. Cool stuff. What is up guys? So, quick update. This is the stuff that we sold. We sold the Jumbo uh, uh, Voltron. We sold Garada K7, Combatra. You won't believe I just got offered 10000 for this. I said no. Awesome story about that. We sold the Super Combination. We sold Rodan. We sold the Box Voltron. Um, this one was someone was going to come get it. They haven't come for it yet. So I'm still waiting on that. But other than that... Um, been getting I got an offer for him for 700 I said not at the moment maybe at the end of the day I'm not sure yet so pretty crazy guys I thought I'd share that with you guys sold a few little figurines sold uh, Optimus Prime there um, Spacer Grandizer we sold boxed another one we sold here so we're at 3k so far and we're still going strong and it's still early in the morning so I thought I'd share that with you guys What's up, guys? So, here's some of the meanest collectors you'll ever meet. Did he get your diamonds back? Yeah, you got it. You got it. Um, some of the heavy spenders, hardcore collectors are here at my booth looking at all the figures. These guys are diehard fans. Hardcore. A 15. Um, yeah, so these guys are legit. These guys are hardcore collectors. So, I'll get back to you guys because I'm going to do some, I'm doing some sales right now, but I thought I'd share that with you guys. What's up, guys? We just came back from Robo Toy Fest and SoCal Retro Gaming swap me. But um, uh, we did great. Uh, Sid, how'd you do at the event? It was okay. It was a little slower than last year, but it was still pretty good. Oh, okay. I mean, I wasn't there, so uh, she told me everything. Uh, David was gone already. Went to work. I think David went to help you out for how long? Like a few hours? About a few yeah, hours? Like five six hours. Five six hours. So thank you again, David. Um, I had a blast at Robo Toy Fest. I hanged out with the community. Uh, I got to hang out with Voltus V, um, the Filipino group. Um, it was just an outstanding event, and I want to thank everybody that came down to Robo Toy Fest and SoCal Retro Gaming Swami and supported our booths and supporting everybody else and supporting the shows. So I can't thank you guys enough. Um, so I got a little bit of footage on both ends, but not enough, you know, I got I got enough of the whole um, setup for every, from everybody and stuff like that for, for you guys to enjoy. Um, and like I said, thanks for watching and uh, supporting our channel. And um, 
yeah, we just keep on doing videos for you guys, uh, so you guys can see and experience what someone, what people have to go through and setting up and, you know, doing uh, all kinds of things to make sure it's successful as an event and for yourself and making money for whatever purpose you guys use your money for. Um, anything you want to give or say to the fans here, Cecilia, since you got me to meet a lot of them at the event? <laughs> it was cool meeting a lot of the people that support you. And everybody went crazy over the dollar bin. Everybody came in oh, and yeah, like dollar attacked bin. the dollar bin. I think um, the best was the dollar bin. Yeah, yeah for sure. they were all like... They're, they just all came in they were like oh my god like we found you like where's the dollar bin I'm like down there and everybody kind of went crazy over what, it what's the best thing that had, that you saw that came out of the bin there was a lot of like games in there like like either cases that people were looking for or games that didn't have cases yeah that's um, true we had Crash Bandicoot we had a uh, champion it's like a $20 game mm -hmm. disc only um, Pokemon cases GameCube cases mm -hmm. uh, art manuals there was, like, stuff there like were that. some old like pokemon toys in there yeah old toys um, too some like yoshi plushes that some saw someone pull out so it was a lot of cool stuff yeah. um and well i will always have that for everybody because i get so much stuff um i buy like big lots and you know if, if it's worth if I, you don't want to do anything with it or don't want to list i just throw in the dollar bin for people to get get them excited to come down to the booth and buy stuff and stuff like that so uh, like i said thanks again you know thanks i want to thank everybody i want to thank you know tony um, from Robo Toy Fest, Scott and his and his crew for supporting the show and just making it a, an amazing event, and Bobby for um, SoCal and the crew. So I can't thank everybody. You know, it was it's such an amazing event, and then we have three more events coming up, and I'll post that on Instagram for you guys to come follow us, and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, guys.